All right, looking at this graph, we want to identify the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So the x-intercept is where we're crossing the x-axis, and that's happening right here, and it looks like it's going, uh, it's skipping, it's going 2, 4, well, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. So that would be the point negative 6, 0. And the y-intercept is where it's crossing the y-axis. So it's between 12 and 16. It's a little higher than 14. So a good guess would be that that intercept is 15 there, where it's crossing, because it looks like it's right in the middle of 14 and 16.